We're almost into May and the halfway point of the conference schedule. Alongside head coach Mark Kingston, Mike Lefko with you. So coach, we're at that halfway point of the conference schedule. What's your assessment of your team so far? I mean, statistically and you know, record-wise, obviously we're not where we want to be. Uh, we've had a lot of one run and close games that ter have turned into losses. And so it's up to us as coaches to, to continue to teach these guys what it takes to win these games and, uh, and help them grow up, help them gain experience. And uh, hopefully and, and eventually these one run losses, these close games will turn into wins. Uh, we just all want it to happen sooner rather than later. Do you think that can happen now in this back half or it still be, hey, we have all these freshmen and it might not happen necessarily at one set point? Well, we're going to expect it to happen quick. Uh, there, I don't think we want to say wait till next year. That's, that's not my mindset. That's not our team's mindset. Uh, our mindset is we're going to try to win the next game and, and then when that game's over, focus on the next one, one at a time. So uh, it's going to happen. We just we want it to happen now. Um, so. We just have to hope these guys continue to get better uh, at a quick pace. This is something we've talked about before on the show. With all these freshmen, guys that are not used to the grind of college baseball, you have a few of them who are kind of indispensable. Garrett Zach and Coco Montez have played every game. David Villar has essentially played every game. How do you keep them fresh and away from these kind of lags and either mental or physical focus out there? Well, it's just it's part of it. Uh, they have to learn how to play. They all played on good travel ball teams that played a lot of games during the summer. So. Uh, they just, it's, it's part of it. Uh, the first year, the transition to college baseball with, with classes and, uh, and travel and the high number of games, it's just, you have to get used to it. And there's, there's no way to talk about it to prepare for it, to help them prepare for it. You just have to do it. You have to go through it. You have to endure it. Uh, it's up to them to take care of themselves, make sure they're getting enough rest, make sure they're eating right. Um, past that, it's just a matter of, of doing it and, and going through it. Looks like you have had some bright spots start to click now on the offense, though. Duke Stunkel Jr. has really come on. He just pieced together a 12-game hit streak. Luke Borders, a couple of home runs in conference, big three-run mashes. What have they done now to get themselves into the lineup? Uh, they've just they've done well. Obviously, Duke Stunkel's been a starter for us all year, and uh, I think he's really making some nice strides and some improvements uh, in his swing, and it's showing up in the games. And I think Luke is just starting to settle in back to what he what he has been for the majority of his career, just a, a good hitter that has a little pop. Um, and so we need him to be a good hitter for us. There's no question. Well, we talked a lot about the hitters, but coming up, we'll focus on the pitching. Brandon Lawson will join the show after this here on the Mark Kingston Show. University of South Florida is a regional powerhouse with global significance, leading advances that are changing the world. Now a leader among the nation's universities in research, healthcare, and just being cool. The place where young men and women train to become the best. This is where the bulls run. Welcome back to the Mark Kingston Show. We're joined now by pitcher Brandon Lawson. Brandon, you're here in your junior season and you've really evolved nicely into the Saturday starter for the Bulls. Last year, you kind of bounced around, relief, starting pitcher. This year, you've had that role. Have you kind of settled into that situation? Uh, yeah, I feel like I have. I mean, you know, last year didn't really sit over well with me and how, you know, how the season went. So, you know, over the summer, I worked on a lot of things going up to the Northwoods League and then, you know, just put a lot of, uh, hard work into the off season, coming back through the fall and stuff to, you know, be able to produce for my team. And, you know, so far it's done a pretty decent job for me, but, you know, hopefully I, you know, look to get better and keep improving each start. Your strikeout total is really up there, up near the top of the league and up towards the top of the country in total strikeouts. Is that something specifically you've also worked on? Uh, I think it's just me and Mole have, you know, been able to attack hitters better. My velocity's jumped a little bit. Um, you know, just being able to spot up more and, you know, change pitches. Uh, we've worked on a harder slider this year and, you know, we developed a, a curveball as well. So, you know, I think that plays a role into it. Yeah, with the, with the starting rotation on the weekend, the expectation is always, hey, we need our starting pitchers to go deep into games. Do you embrace that, that, hey, when you get the ball out there, it's yours for a good amount of innings? Yeah, early in the season, you know, you didn't really know what to expect with our offense and stuff being so young. but. You know, as the seasons went on, you know, we've kind of embraced, uh, you know, we've got to go seven to, you know, nine innings every start, basically. So, um, you know, I've, I've embraced it. 
Is it fun when you're out there on the mound in that starting pitching role? All the attention's on you, either good or bad sometimes. Oh, definitely. It's always a, a fun time being out on the mound. Uh, you know, I always like the limelight and <clears throat> being able to control the game and, you know, just going out there and having fun. You have still about half of the conference season left. So we've come a long way through this season, but now that you still have a good amount of weekends left, are you maintaining your, your velocity and your rest, or how do you keep from getting tired out? Uh, when I played UCF uh, a couple weeks ago, I kind of saw my velocity go down a little bit. So, you know, after that start, um, I went back to my routine that I used to do in the fall and stuff and doing the weighted balls to, you know, maintain my velocity. And so, you know, hopefully we'll, you know, can keep it there. You guys have been very close in a lot of games this year. Not all have been on the winning side, but with how close this team has been and with still four conference weekends left, are you guys optimistic that, hey, a lot of these are going to start to fall your way? Yeah, I mean, like uh, Kingston said, you know, we've probably been in 15 one-run games and, you know, a lot of them haven't gone our way, but, um, you know, this is the most important time of the season is, you know, the last couple of weeks. And, you know, you could struggle through the first part of the year, but the last remaining month of the year, I mean, is the most important part. I mean, you can catch fire. And then, you know, going to conference tournament where, you know, most likely it's going to be our biggest chance to do something, um, you know, and everything come together then and then, you know, make a run from there. Well, that's starting pitcher Brandon Lawson. He'll pitch this Saturday at home against UCF. We'll be back with more in the head coach here on the Mark Kingston Show. So Mark, we just talked with Brandon Lawson, who since that first weekend has been your Saturday starter. Yeah. What has he settled in nicely to really be that rock on the Saturday side? He's, he's improved. Uh, his velocity is a tick up and he, he maintains it later into games than he has in the past. Uh, I think his command has gotten better. He he's, throws many more balls down in the zone than he did last year watching him. Uh, so uh, you factor those in, you factor the fact that he's a veteran um, and so he's been in a lot of games over the years. You, just, you put all that together and you have the makings of a, of a really good season. And so so he's worked hard and uh, he's, he's getting the benefits of that. Is this the ideal really rotation when we saw what happened last Saturday with Lawson, went seven innings, you could turn the game over to your bullpen, one inning for Andrew Perez, then bring in the closer. Is that ideal for the weekend rotation to have? You sure hope so. I mean, you want your starters to go deep into games and then you want to have two, maybe three guys in the bullpen that you can hand the ball over to and, and know you're going to win the game. Uh, that's the ideal situation. So we're continuing to search for that. And we, a, lot of, a lot of weekends this year we've had that. So we just need to continue to maintain consistency. We have an interesting stretch here now coming up in conference. The conference schedule kind of didn't do you guys any favor. Some very tough competition with Tulane and ECU over the course of the next three weekends, Connecticut and UCF as well. So with this challenging stretch, is there anything different you tell your team? No, our league is great. There's there, every weekend in our league is is going to be tough and so we just have to play good baseball we have to get better we, we've said that a million times we have to continue to get better uh, in every facet of the game and uh, we're going to play great competition that, that will never change in this league the programs in this league the coaches in this league all are, are really uh, able to do this thing at a very high level so uh, we they'll there'll never be a situation where we can we can take a day off so it's a great league we need to be a great program to compete in it and this weekend, UCF at home for three. A lot of juice, I know, among UCF, USF, and that kind of rivalry. And you guys just played them. So does that help you have some familiarity with this team? Yeah, I think it's a good series. Once again, uh, it's a rivalry. They like playing us. We like playing them. And so I think the fans will be out and enjoy watching it. So it'll be good baseball and uh, may the best team win. Start of a couple of home weekends here for USF, UCF this weekend, and then Tulane at home next weekend. Hope to see you out at the ballpark, and thanks for watching this edition of the Mark Kingston Show.